Jesus Christ, Juice World, XXX Tentacion, Mac Miller, Little Peep, Who Doesn't Belong? They're all the same person. Now, before you write me off and call me crazy, what is Jesus Christ to me? Who is Jesus Christ? Who is Jesus Christ? Who is Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ was not a real person. Jesus Christ was not a real physical person. In my opinion, Jesus Christ was merely an archetype. What is the Jesus Christ archetype? Somebody that dies for your sins. What did Juice World just do? He died for people that abuse drugs, sins. He died to wake up the collective unconscious that abuse drugs to show them this is what is going to fucking happen to you. That's what all celebrities that have influence do. They are Jesus Christ archetypes. We need to realize this. We need to wake up and realize this. That people think of religion and like shit, like Jesus and shit of happening thousands of years ago. No, it's all happening right now. Time, we have a, a fucked up like conception, conception, <laughs> immaculate conception, <laughs> an idea. We have a messed up idea of time and history and philosophy. Like all these archetypes are happening in the present day. It wasn't something that happened like thousands of years ago. They're all going on right now. Like what's another archetype? Like even if you think of astrology, there's a Capricorn archetype, Pisces archetype, Leo archetype. They're archetypes. They're not real people. They're, they're archetypes of humanity. And these rappers, these influencers that are dying young are Jesus Christ archetypes because they're dying for your sins. Because look, look what happened, look what, hap look what happens. When they're alive, nobody takes what they're saying seriously. And like, that's not anybody's fault. That's like, I, I, I do the same thing, you know? We don't take what they're saying seriously. Like, it doesn't hit home to us. But as soon as they die, what happens? Then that's when everybody like hops on and be like, whoa, they actually were talking some real ass shit. And they usually always do. And it's not till after they're gone that they're like, oh fuck, why didn't I listen to while he was here? <laughs> why didn't I listen to while he was here? They all wait till they're dead to really like maybe wanna make life choices in their life for the better. Like a lot of even X fans, like they changed their life because after he died, they saw the transformation he went through. And they, he, he was an archetype. He was an archetype to help people. We need to start realize, realizing that when like these fucking mad religious people, like, oh, the second come, when is Jesus gonna come back? Jesus is gonna come back. The second coming of Christ. The second coming of Christ. I looked at the wrong thing. There has been like thousands of Jesuses. <laughs> like he's an archetype. He's not a real person. For anybody that's religious, what are you waiting for? Like, are you waiting for somebody that looks like Jesus to come back? And be like, I died for your sins, but here I am. I'm back in the flesh. Your homeboy. <laughs> no. Jesus Christ is a fucking archetype that is playing out through people of this generation. Is that really so crazy to think? No, it's fucking not. Because it's true. And I know it's fucking true. Like... <laughs> Jesus died for your sins. These people are dying for your sins to show you what's going to happen to you. 
You need to start listening to people while they're still alive. A lot of them, though, it's, uh, it's, it, they're literally doing cries for help. It's a cry for fucking help. That die from drugs. Little P. You don't think he was literally crying for help? Begging for help? These people in the music in industry are rapping about this not because they think it's cool, because it's a cry for fucking help. And are we gonna not fucking help them? <laughs> what is wrong with this society? You think rapping about something that kills you is they're doing it because they think it's cool? No, it's a cry for fucking help, bro. Oh my god. I'm sorry I'm getting angry. It's just a society that, like, I don't understand what they aren't understanding. <laughs> what aren't you getting? I mean, I guess if you still want to do drugs because there's catchy songs that says Percocet, Molly Percocet. Yo, I love that song. I still jam to that song. But I'm smart enough to realize that <laughs> it's meant to be a cry for help, the artists, maybe unconsciously, they don't even realize it. They don't even realize it. Because what this matrix is doing is making people popular because they're coinciding with their agenda. They want The matrix wants people to be addicted to drugs. <laughs> I'll say that again. This matrix, this government wants you to be addicted to drugs. If you don't believe me, follow me on Instagram. I give plenty of fucking um, examples. This country funded the drug war. They, they gave hundreds of thousands of pounds of fucking cocaine and they started the crack ac epidemic. They started it. The same people that says just say no, that created D.A.R.E., they funded the crack ep epidemic. <clears throat> There's proof! And the guy that tried to fucking call them out, he died. <sighs> so, they, let me get back to the point. So they know, like, that, <laughs> so we need to realize that be, just because there are fire as songs talking about drugs, like they're fire songs, you know, like they're hot. Like I love music. I feel music. Like I feel that shit. But I also understand that it has the potential to brainwash people. And that is what it's meant to do. But you have to become consciously aware that that is what it's doing. And you need to rise above the brainwashing and say, okay, just because this song is catchy doesn't mean I should be doing pills. Doesn't mean I should be sipping codeine. Doesn't mean I should be popping Percocets. Because Percocets will fucking kill you. Percocets, opiates will fucking kill you. Juice World, Mac Miller, Little Peep, XXX Tentacion, Archetypes of Jesus Christ. They're dying for your sins. Yes, G um, Jesus. Yes, X didn't die from drugs, but he was an archetype in a different way to show people that maybe you shouldn't beat your fucking girlfriends. And just because you have beat your girlfriend doesn't mean you can't change and doesn't mean you can't be a good person because a lot of people that have done fucked up things in their past, they identify with that person. They think, that's me. And they fucking like, yeah, that's me. I ain't, like, that's me, I'm a monster. I'm a pit bull. And they're not strong enough to change because they have too much pride, too much ego. But X showed people that, yeah, you could be that fucked up person and you can admit to the fucked up things that you've done and you could change. You have the capability to change. 
always, you always are able to change. You could always improve your life. You could always better your fucking um, reputation. Reputation. <sighs> like, I, I wanted to make this video as soon as Juice World died. But in respects to Juice World, I didn't want to be one of those fucking people that hopped on the fucking YouTube train making fucking thumbnails with his fucking face in the um, image just to get clicks. And you know what? Whatever. Like, <laughs> you know what? No fucking judgments to them because you know what they're 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 doing them. You know what if if Juice World was a fucking Jesus Christ archetype, he's helping humanity. So you know what they can do whatever they want. I'll put you know what maybe I'll put fucking Juice World's um picture right on my thumbnail because like these people die for a purpose to help us. You can't let their death like you can't. You need to look at their deaths as. A cue to change some to change something in your own life and and what let me say one thing because he died from a opiate overdose right an opiate overdose I don't know if this is true I just heard one source say this I just heard one source say this, so let me say this right now. I don't know if this next thing I'm going to say is true. But if it is true, this is my thoughts on it. So, they say that they had like hundreds of pounds of fucking weed. I don't know hundreds of pounds, but like mad pounds of weed on the plane. And I heard somebody say that the cops were about to be like coming there. So, they had pills, they had weed, they had this, they had that. And because Juice World didn't want them to find the pills, he took a bunch more than he usually would because he didn't want people, they didn't, they didn't want them to be found. They didn't want to get in trouble. They didn't want it to get, get confiscated. So he took a bunch more than he would have taken. Now, if drugs were legal, 100% legalized, that would, he would still be alive today. Little Peep would still be alive today. Mac Miller would still be alive today if drugs were legalized. Because if they were legalized, they would be more regulated and they wouldn't have to be hidden. There would be centers for people to go to do like safe drug needle exchanges. Yeah, whatever. Like people may be like, oh my God, we're just going to cater to drug users. I mean, if you don't want them to die, yeah, <laughs> that's what you're exactly what you're going to do. <laughs> It's exactly what we should be doing if we don't want people to die. I'm sorry, but if, if you don't think that drugs should be legalized, you have no right saying rest in peace to these legends. You have no right to be upset of these people dying because you're killing them if you're supporting the legalization of fucking drugs. Elite, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. If you support the fucking drug war, if you support... <laughs> If you support fucking, like, we're killing these people. They're dying for our sins. We need to, like, change. Something needs to change. We need to change the fucking, like, thoughts of what, how we think of drugs. We need to change the laws on drugs. We need to realize that they're archetypes. These aren't real physical people. These are archetypes to this matrix. Stop thinking of fucking Jesus Christ as a real person. They're archetypes. Just like with astrology, Capricorn is an archetype. Santa Claus is an archetype. The Easter Bunny is an archetype. The Tooth Fairy is an archetype. <sighs> They're not real. They're, they are fucking influences playing out through real people. These people tune into those archetypes. And they become them. This world is weird. It's a weird, it's a weird world we're living in. It's a strange world that we're living in. It's strange. And the more you wake up to it, the stranger it becomes. 
and you really need to learn how to balance it. Not, and I understand, I do, I understand why not everybody like realizes this. Because once you become consciously aware to shit like this, not everybody can handle it. They, not everybody can handle it. It takes a strong person to be able to like portray the idea and not literally go crazy because that this is this is how people go crazy when they start realizing shit like this. But you need to be strong and be able to like get it out to the world in a in a not crazy way. This may be crazy. I get it. This may be crazy. But whatever. Like I don't care who am I trying to impress. Yeah, I'm crazy. Okay. Hi. How are you? I'm sorry if anybody gets disrespected, if anybody feels this is disrespecting Juice World, but I feel like people that don't put out information like this is disrespecting Juice World and everybody else that has died for your sins. And no, I am not religious in any fucking respect. Like, I realize what Jesus Christ really was. And you need to begin to realize it too and see the archetypes of him living today. They're living today. People are waiting for Jesus Christ to come back. Oh my God, when's the second coming of Christ coming? When is the second coming of Christ going to come to this world? Juice World was one of those second comings. 25,000 fucking millionth of comings. There's been so many comings. Like, as soon as one dies, another one is reborn. Like, there, we need to just, like, figure, like, realize that this is what this is. <sighs> Unless you want to die. Like, who am I to say you shouldn't die if you want to? You have the right to. But I also have the right to put out information for you to take. That's up for grabs. You can grab it. It's up for the taking. Grab it if you want. Hit it if you want. Like, I don't care. If, if anybody is new to my channel, I just want to let you know that I'm an addiction counselor that broke out of the rehab industry because I saw the fucking like fucked up things that was going on. The goal is not to help people. The rehab industry is not here to help you. It's here to make you think that you're sick and you need to become reliant on them and reliant on the pharmaceutical companies to better your life, like antidepressants, whatever. Like, I wanted, I got into this industry because I wanted to really help people. And I was not, I was doing the opposite, working in rehabs. So I quit my job to make cosmic drugs, to help people the way I feel is helpful. So if you support my movement, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, the censorship on YouTube is fucking crazy. Like they censor people like me. They shadow ban people like me, channels like mine. So please share me with your friends. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on fucking, um, subscribe to me on YouTube. Like, you know, just please support me because this is my job. This is, I, I'm not making any income because I am just trying to help people. I'm, I film from my fucking 64 gigabyte cell phone. I have these ideas all the time, but I can only fit so much on this phone. So like some, like some of my, some of my thoughts never make it because I don't have the room. I have to pick and choose what thoughts get, what, what ideas get to my subscribers. Like, this is my job. Like, I'm, please support me. If you identify with what I'm saying, if you feel with what I'm saying, if you're tuned in to what I'm saying, if you're on my frequency, I'm just asking for your help because I want to help you and I want to help your fucking friends and family. <laughs> like, this is my purpose. This is my purpose. Like, I'm crazy. Like, only crazy people really have good ideas, if I'm being frank. Because crazy people, like, aren't like everybody else. And everybody else don't have new ideas because they're not crazy. Like, <laughs> you have to think of, like, words like that in a different way. They throw crazy people in asylums. 
I, it makes me wonder who should really be there and who should be actually the real presidents. Makes you wonder. Thank you for watching me. Rest in peace, Juice World.